Hi guys, so today I am going to be sharing with you a yard sale haul. So this is going to be the haul from the last footage video that you saw. So this was an indoor yard sale and I found a couple of things. Um, so we're just going to go through everything that I found and what I listed it for. And then I may show just a couple of other things since there wasn't like a ton of things. So the first thing that I found was this vintage baby blanket. So this is actually brand new still in its original packaging. This is by the company called Beacon. And this is a really nice like pastel coloring um, woven knit blanket. The, um, the one side of this plastic is torn, but obviously the blanket was never taken out of the package or used. Um, I did pay $2 for the blanket and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $39.99. So we'll see. Some vintage baby blankets can sell really well. Um, I got, I found a um, kind of like a plastic bag that had a couple of these building turkey calls and owl hooters. Um, so a lot of people are into turkey calls, obviously the hunting guys and girls. Um, and this one here has kind of like step-by-step -step instructions on how to build your own um, turkey calls. And these are actually signed by the author on the inside. So there was like three, I think three of these exact same books and they're all signed by the author. Um, so I went ahead and I just listed one for now because I didn't see any currently listed. I paid $2 for the pack of them and I listed um, just this one on auction with a starting price of $19.99. It has quite a few watchers and already has a bid. So um, if that only sells for $19.99, then I'll just post my others for the same price. But I kind of wanted to feel out um, what exactly this is worth because I couldn't find any um, listed or sold to go by. And the fact that it's autographed kind of adds to the coolness factor. I actually found this candle warmer. And this is a ceramic um, plug-in candle warmer. It is brand new, still has the tags attached. And this is like a college um, theme. This is for the Maryland Terrapins, I think they're called. Um, so you would just stick like a jar candle in here and plug it in and it just melts the wax instead of burning it. So a little safer than having, you know, the open flame going. But I decided to pick this up and I paid $2 for it. And I listed it as a buy it now for $29.99. I also found like a little plastic um, container that had a couple random things in, but there was a mini Boyd's Bear in there. And this one's actually a keychain, still has the tags, and it says Boyd's Bear Country on his little sweater. And I paid 50 cents for the whole container this is the only thing out of it that i listed um the rest of the stuff isn't you know worth <laughs> worth listing in my opinion so um you guys know i have had great success with the mini boyd's bears so i decided to take a chance with him for 50 dollars yeah for 50 dollars for 50 cents but um i did list him on auction with a starting price of $69.99. That's what he last sold for. There weren't any currently listed. So I figured if someone is really looking for him, then they'll, they're will they gonna pay that price because that's what the last one sold for. Uh, but since there's none other listed, I figured I'd put it on auction just to see you know, if it would go for any more than that, but we'll see. Um, but that was a really good find for 50 cents. I was like, um, attracted to some of the toys so i did get a couple of the toys the first thing i got was this huge oh my god this thing is so big um this is a stuffed monkey but he is a hand puppet so you can stick your hand up in him and he's got like a bag up there to hold his shape but hold on let me get mine got i am not a good like puppeteer <laughs> anyway 
anyway, this thing is huge, like super long. I think he's like 30 some inches. I'm not even sure. It might even be more than that. Uh, but he is vintage. Uh, his name is Furry Huggums. Yep, he's from 1980. That's what his little tag says. And he's wearing like the cutest 80s looking terry cloth t-shirt. I don't know. I fell in love with him. He's got Velcro on his hands and feet. So like you can literally like hug him around you or something else type of thing. So anyway, I decided to pick him up. Um, I paid $1.50 for him and I listed him on auction with a starting price of $29.99. So I don't know. I thought he was cute. So we'll see. I also took this doll. I thought she was really cute. She was in like a complete outfit with her shoes and her dress was marked West Germany. So I figured maybe she's a little bit older. I'm not entirely sure, but she is by a company called Gotts, G-O-T-Z or Goats. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. Um, she's got the sleepy eyes and she's really cute. She's a really cute doll. And like I said, she has like a whole outfit on. So I decided to take a chance with her. Um, I don't know like a ton about dolls, but I thought she was cute. I paid $2.50 for her and I listed her on auction with a starting price of $29.99. So we'll see. Also got this doll because I thought she was really pretty. Um, this one again has an outfit on, just a gorgeous face. She's got a bonnet in her hair, this blue dress. The dress does have some issues. Um, it's definitely gonna need cleaned. I don't know if this ribbon went with her or not. It says, hold my left hand and I will walk with you. And then it says NASCO. I'm not exactly sure how she's supposed to walk. There is like a hole um, on the bottom of her. So I don't know if like maybe she's missing something, but she's really tall, made of like a plasticky um, material. But I thought she was really cute. And I do feel like some of these bigger dolls, I think they call them play pals or companion dolls, um, I do feel like some of them sell well, so I decided to take a chance on her. I just wasn't sure, but um, I paid three bucks for her, and I listed her on auction with a starting price of $39.99, so we'll see. I'm still trying to learn about dolls. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about them, especially the ones that were a little bit before my time, um, so yeah. We'll see. <laughs> so that was pretty much all that I really picked up at um, the yard sale. Um, there was a lot of stuff there, but not just like a ton of stuff that really interested me so much. Um, but I am gonna just add in a couple of other things that I recently listed just to, to get some stuff hauled. Um, the first thing that I have were these, and these are so cute, and I'm really surprised these haven't sold yet. Um, these came with, um, Something that Eric won at an auction. They are pewter by a company called Uno Alla Volta. They come with like this certificate of authenticity. And they're in this bag. And they're the cutest things ever. Like I said, I'm so surprised no one bought them yet. They're in a black little velvet drawstring bag. And they're little pixie elves. They are so stinking cute. It's a whole set of them. So I'll show them to you. So you can see. So... They're these little elves made of pewter. So it's those two. And they're all in different little like positions. Like this one's laying, this one's sitting, holding his legs. And then this one has his legs kind of spread. So it's three, five little, they're heavy too, like pewter elves. I just thought they were so cute. Like they're perfect for Christmas time and pretty much new. So, like I said, they came with some stuff that Eric won at an auction. I did have um, some snowflake-shaped magnets by the same company that already sold. So, someone wanted the snowflake magnets, but they didn't want the pixie elves. Um, uh, we listed these for a buy it now of $29.99 stuff. And this brand is pretty pricey. So, um, I thought that was a good deal. So, we'll see if they go. Um, I also have this um, tray. This is by Royal Copenhagen, and it is 
signed there on the back. So just a small little tray. Um, found this at the auction. I paid $20 for it and I listed it as a buy it now for $49.99. Very, very pretty. And um, this tray was selling for that price, sometimes even a little more than that. So um, definitely a more desirable one. Also have this Dooney and Burke wristlet. Um, I did get this at a yard sale at one point, but um, I kept it. So this was been this was in my closet. I used it a couple times. I think the last time I used it was when I went to vote because I found my I voted sticker in it. So this was just something like I was using, but like I said, I originally got it at a yard sale, but I decided to list it because I really don't use it very often. Um, and I listed this as a buy it now for $19 and 99 cents have this really cute mug this has the um the kilbin cat on it and it is so stinking cute um i think i picked this up at a filibag rummage sale at one point it says made in england on the bottom but it has the cutest little song on the side <laughs> so this is a cat singing right it says love to eat them mousies mousies what i love to eat bite they little heads off nibble on they tiny feet <laughs> i just thought that was the cutest stinking thing ever cats are evil but oh my gosh do i love cats uh, i had a cat like pretty much my whole life growing up um i started with a dog though a dog was the first animal i ever had and then we got cats and i had a cat like my entire life um until you know, Eric and I moved in together and I'd still at some point love to have a cat because I love them so, so much. Um, but it just, it, it, it has, hasn't ever happened yet, but maybe one day. Um, so yeah, this from a fill bag rummage sale. So cute. I love it. And I listed it as a buy it now for $19 and 99 cents. Um, okay. So you guys, if you watch all my videos, I think I have mentioned in one of my, I want to say it was a Cha Ching video at the end when I'm just like rambling about stuff, that I had gone to a church sale with Eric and, you know, I recorded there, but there was like nothing there. Um, I hadn't found anything. I didn't find anything that day. Eric was the only one who found stuff. So this was one of the things that he found. He found these cute little bunnies. And these are by Schmid. The one still has the tag, the other one doesn't. Uh, but they each have a butterfly on. This one has one on his nose and this one is on his ear. So he picked these up and paid, he paid $1 for the pair of these. And we listed them as the pair for a buy it now of $19.99. So like I said, Eric found those. And then he also found this set. And this set is so cute. So this is a little ceramic bunny family and so there's the dad who is reading the paper with his glasses on there's the baby who is um eating its carrot and then there's mama or these could be grandma and grandpa really um and she is knitting a stocking so we listed those as the pair uh, we paid $1.50 for that pair, and they are also listed as a buy it now for $19.99. So he did good with finding those. Those are really cute. Speaking of, he also found the next item too. Um, this was for, this was like a set of Time Life, what are these? Time Life cookbooks. So it's a whole big set. These are like spiral bound. I'm just posting up a picture because big old box of them um I think we paid about not even maybe a quarter a piece for the books and um, listed those as a buy it now for $65 so these are actually selling pretty well like obviously like the more you had the better type of thing and the last thing I have was this is just a baggie full of brats um purses so these go to brat stalls they're all different various brats um, accessories but like purses and bags and stuff like that so at one point I had gotten a bunch of like Bratz accessories and stuff at a yard sale so I just kind of lotted up all of the bags and I listed these as a buy it now for $19.99 so 
they're good for people who need to complete like a doll's outfit and stuff like that as like replacement pieces. Uh, but that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You had to let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.